Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make a recipe that my ex-husband keeps asking me to make. And if you've ever had our birria recipe, you're going to absolutely love this one. For this recipe, you'll need your favorite style of birria. And today I'm using our Instant Pot recipe, which I'll link in the description area. Flour tortillas, lettuce, guacamole, cheese, cilantro and onions, sour cream, and a lot of oil. Made some quick glue and this is going to help keep our chimichangas together and all it is, it's flour and water. And just combine it until you get a nice thick little paste. To the outer part of your tortilla you're going to add a little bit of glue, cheese, birria, and now you're just going to roll it up. I'm gonna continue with the remaining chimichangas and before I do that, uh, for those of you that don't know what a chimichanga is, Cloud's gonna tell you. It's a fried burrito. It's a deep fried burrito, yeah. <laughs> so yummy. And my youngest son is more like me, not like his emo, he loves the carrots. I'm just kidding, Cloud. <laughs> so I'm gonna be adding to this chimichanga the carrots because um, you guys know our family, we like to put carrots in our birria. It just really enhances the flavor. So this one's gonna be um, just absolutely delicious. He said, mom, can you put carrots in mine? I said, yes. Yeah. I'd love to. And these carrots are good. They are delicious. They're absolutely delicious. Yeah, so if you have uh, family members that um, have a dietary restriction, you can just use the carrots from your birria if that's okay with them and then, you know, just nobody's gonna be left out. That's what family is about, right? Mm -hmm. With an uncoated wooden spoon, you're gonna place it into your oil. And once it bubbles like this, that means you're ready to fry. If you see smoke coming off from your pan, that means it's too hot and you're gonna have to wait about 10, 15 minutes for it to cool before you can continue to fry. And now we're gonna to continue to fry our chimichanga until it's nice and crispy and you get that golden color. Ooh, I'm so excited for this. And what I have going on over here is I have our consomme, which is our birria broth, and all I'm doing is cooking it under a medium-low heat just to thicken it up just a little bit. Optional but not necessary to enhance the flavor, you can use a little bit of our birria chili oil and a little squeeze of lime. And boom, done! Who's ready for a taste? I'm gonna need somebody very special to say ah. Uh... My tip to you is have a lot of fun with your recipe. This is an excellent recipe to meal prep. You can freeze your chimichangas, microwave them for about two to three minutes, and boom, done, okay? But I am gonna warn you guys, it might be time for some of you to look away because I'm about to indulge. <laughs> Buen provecho. Thank you. Mm. Ooh, and this is not spicy. It's not spicy. I made it mild, and this is impressive. You impressed me today. Mmm. The beef is so juicy, and the broth is just perfect. Oh yeah. This recipe is absolutely delicious. Make sure to tag us if you make it on any of our social media. Mm. The cheese is nice and melted. Everything stays nice and hot. It's perfect. No wonder your ex keeps asking you to make this. It's a mm. nice meal. It's all nice and warm and my tummy is just perfect. Mm. 
As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We want to thank all of you that commented on our videos this weekend. You had me cracking up. I want you guys to know that I've sharpened my knives. Um, you guys really had fun with that salsa recipe. And if you guys want to see it, I'll link it down in the description. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.